Well, that's good information. Thank you. For that's, a good sum- that's a good summary, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I think you've only seen me play golf once. Uh, I've seen you swing it enough times. So I've, yeah. I've seen some things happen. Mm-hmm. I didn't play very well that day either. Um, okay, so on to more professional sort of the more professional world. Ross Mack has asked, if you, Peter Finch, had the choice okay. to play on any tour, PGA Tour, Live, or DP World, which would you choose? Great question. Oh, my God. Um, oh. That's a great question. I might have to cover this from a fair few angles. So I'd say as a, as a pro growing up, I'd probably say European Tour, DP World Tour as it is now, because that's what I grew up watching more than anything. I knew all the players there. There were a lot of golfers on there that I looked up to, that I wanted to emulate. And that was like always a goal as a kid, you know, playing on, on the European tour. I love the idea of that, like the, the, the stories, the history, the events that they have. Loved all of that. I think from a, a subjective standpoint, like if you want to play the best player still, it's PGA Tour. Um, it's got the fuller schedule. Um, it still has those historic events and those leanings that you can you know, feel like when you are the best player on the PGA Tour, you're probably the best player in the world. Mm. I think you could still make that argument. And the changes that they made recently as well, like the shorter schedules, the amount of money that you play for has gone up significantly. It's just more difficult to get onto. Liv, at what stage in this imaginary world where I'm actually (laughs) playing on tour, have I already been playing on tour? Am I a good golfer, for example? Because if I'm going to go play on live, the chances are I'm getting signed. Uh, Am I going to get yeah. offered? Am I going to get offered fifty million to go to live? That's one. That's one. Yeah, that's what you want to know, don't you? Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, well, maybe maybe it's it's you as like a really low, sort of low level. So I'm going through the qualifying about, series. Yeah, mm. thinking about which is you like, which is the one you can achieve. Yeah, mm. and like you know, you're really going in that, that way. Yeah, live would be interesting because. You can go through the qualifying series and you can try and get on there, but there are so there are so few spaces that's really difficult. I think realistically, probably wouldn't be live because I wouldn't see a route on there. Yeah. Yeah. Like with the other one, with the PJ Tour and European Tour, even though they're not perfect by any means, there are issues there as far as qualifying goes. There's a pretty clear path. Do, do yeah. you think that Liv has a long way to go for that side of things? Just it, access. It, it does, but at the same time, it does have a, a long way to go for access. But at the same time, it, does it need that? Does it? Does that matter? Because well, if, if they want to be the future of golf, then it kind of has to be a big part of it, surely. Yeah, but they're recruiting directly from my colleges now, mm, like David, true. David Pugh, Pugh, Puig, however you pronounce his surname. Still, nobody knows. Like he was got directly from college, and he's an exceptional golfer. Mm. Um, oh, that's a very again not to uh, playing devil's advocate. That's very then an American centric system as well. Like if you don't go through the US, I, where are you it, coming from? It is, but I don't think live. I don't think live particularly care about that. And also with live, their whole premise and the whole thing that they want to do is get the best players possible. And if they recruit them, let's say someone comes through European tour, gets on the PJ tour, becomes a winner. And live like the look of them. They go, okay, well, there's under a million. Do you want to go play the with PGA us? Tour as a feeder tour. Yeah, huh? and you you could get to this stage where you have the European Tour through this strategic partnership with the PGA Tour seems to become somewhat of a feeder tour for the PGA Tour. And if you get to the top of the rankings on the PGA Tour, you're going to be winning a lot of money. Mm. You're going to be really well off. You're going to have a fantastic life. But then you could have the choice of staying there. And if live like the look of you, you could go play there. It, that, that is realistically what could happen if Liv keep putting the money in there. Yeah. So what we need to do is like get to the top of the creator tree, form a creator team, get some eyeballs on there. Is that what you'd call it? The creator team? I don't know. What would you call it? I don't know. You just got to... I mean, there's some wild sort of names going at the moment, isn't there? So I just think there could be something a little bit better than, than creator. But along the right lines, I, I completely... Completely get it. Okay. Um, get get into the comments. Who, who would your creator team be for Liv? And what would it be called? What oh, would we be great. called? I like that. Um, we haven't really touched on it uh, before we go on to the next question. We haven't really touched on the fact that obviously like um, Luke and Mac, uh, Luke Juan, Mac Boucher, yeah. uh, Tucker Golfer going into this series. Like, what's your kind of view on that? 
great. Yeah, same. Yeah, that's Amazing. Right. I mean, if you've not seen this, um, so yeah, so Luke, um, Taco, and Mac, they've all been invited to the Singapore? Uh, yeah, yeah, Thailand. Yeah. Thailand. Th- Thailand. Yeah. Thailand. Thailand. Thailand Open. And it's a proper, proper professional tour event, big prize money. They've been invited by the sponsors to play for the reasons that, you know, we're seeing more and more that this event wants more eyeballs. They want more engagement. Mm. So why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, why not? That's a great opportunity for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. And I'm definitely going to be taking a, you know, like an, I'm going to be taking oh, an interest in it. 100%. Like, so it's like... On the, the, the queue at Myrtle Beach that we did this year has opened so many eyeballs and it's given so much impetus for creators who play professionally or are professional golfers or good golfers to get invites into these events mm. because yeah. sponsors are going to be looking at it. Certainly if you're a title sponsor of these events and you think, well, who am I going to give this invite to? I'm going to give it to like a tour pro who's been around a long time. I'm going to give it to like, I would still say like, give it to young golfers coming through, give them the yeah. opportunity if they want to be tour pros. But if those, if those bases have been covered and you've got spare spots, like yeah. why not? Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah. Invite creators. You're going to get so many more eyeballs on your event. You're going to get so much more interest in what's going on. And literally the worst thing that could happen is whoever's invited doesn't play well, finishes near the bottom. All that's going to do is add to the contrast of how good the players actually are competing yeah. in this event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a no-lose situation. Yeah. So I think it's just going to happen more and more and more. Mm. And I think like... All three of those have, uh, you know, obviously great golfers anyway, and within their own right. So really good. they're going to have a chance, you yeah, know. Really good. So yeah. it's going to be, yeah, really interested to see. Yeah, that'll be a good one to follow. Um, on to the next one. Uh, 